What's up everybody, Skizwise here and welcome to this brand new vid video, Noob to Pro-ish, uh, number two. Yeah, so uh, today instead of doing a live recording, um, I was going to show you some pre-recording that I've done over the last couple of days. Mostly all, actually I all recorded in one evening because I was doing pretty well, so um, this is sort of good gameplay, not extremely bad gameplay, but there are some bad parts, I promise you. Um, uh, team Deathmatch uh, only. And the the uh, they went by they were fairly quick rounds um, because the score there was a lot of people and the score limit had been left at a hundred, but that was okay. Uh, I I did actually pretty well. Um, so yeah, I, I basically cut everything together just for the main part, so there's not a lot of running around and there's three games put into this one. So here I got my first kill, obviously. Um, fairly far away. The weapons I'll be using mostly in this episode was this one, the Scar H, and later I will change around for the. Um, which one is what is it called? Uh, AC. Well, you'll see when I change it. Uh, I really like the um, Scar Rage because it's a very good mid to long range weapon. Uh, the low rate of fire makes it um, fairly accurate. I got all this from watching a YouTube video. I did not figure this out on my own, obviously, because if not, why would I be doing this series if I knew all this by myself? Uh, yeah, a YouTuber that I very much enjoy. And he made a video, good assault classes and stuff like that, and it quite helped me out, which is a good thing because I was already using the Scar H a lot anyway, which is, I was like, oh, okay, fair enough, I chose a good weapon. So here I had managed to miss, walk around someone and go around, but then I got killed, so I'm doing 4 0. Uh, I skipped forward here to a very forward in the game because nothing happened when I was walking about. All the enemies were up on the hill and everybody was down here, and it's pretty much feels a little bit like a sniper match. Although I obviously hear some people like the enemy try and run around and that's the ones I try and pick off. Uh, skip a little bit forward here and then I look at the hill with all the people, see one guy with a laser, I think, oh I can get him. No. Sadly, I underestimated, but then I get revived, which is very good. Which I like about close quarter games is when there's a lot of people who are playing assault, um, and like me and they can drop health packs and revive you, which is great. Uh, I was running around here, I saw a glimpse of that guy in between the railing and managed to get him just before the end of the game. So we won that round, which was very good. Um, and I finished for 6-1. Now on to the next one, which was not Dawnbreaker. Oh, it was Dawn, sorry. It was Dawn, on, on Dawnbreaker, which is a more of a rectangle map. And... So I started off, I skipped the, skipped a bit here, and I, all the enemies were at the end. Nobody was running through the building, so I decided to run through. This is definitely more like a sniper match, because everybody's just shooting down that road. And I saw all these people, and I just got giddy. I was like, how do I start? <laughs> Who do I pick off first? What do I do? Should I throw a grenade? Should I start killing them? They saw me, started hurting me, and I managed to run off just in time to heal myself. But this is the problem I have. I... So uh, luckily I saw him, I accidentally changed to one shot, which was fair enough, to, it still worked. I decided to go have a little peek, see what I could find, um, saw a few enemies, managed to get that guy through the railing, I thought I'd have another go, but then someone over there saw me. So yeah, I would have loved to be able to stay longer to get all those guys, but somehow, I don't know. So here I changed the... AK-5C, that's the other one, it's very, it's a close range weapon that I really much enjoy because it's got a very good high rate of fire. Again, I got this off from a YouTube video. Now, here running through this, uh, this tree fell over, I was like, oh perfect, it's cover. The thing is, yes it may be cover, but I can't see a blimmin' thing. So, you know, just keep on going through, I managed to get a few guys getting bit hit here, and then died. So I turned my back, should have threw down a med pack first maybe, but um, I ran through here later on and <laughs> tried to revive a guy and obviously my cover this was enabling me to see an enemy running through. Later on I ran down the left side here, left flank with um, a guy, everybody was sniping down here and um, I decided to run down see if I could get people off from the side barrier. Threw a grenade managed to get someone, which is a pretty good shot, I don't use grenades that much, probably should. Uh, threw down a med pack, which I'm trying to get ribbons for a challenge. Uh, I had a heart attack here when I thought that I would not be able to uh, kill that guy reload in time, but that was alright. And boom, headshot. So uh, yeah, that happened. And then I skipped forward a little bit here to the end. If you look at the score, I hadn't noticed it was extremely close. So if I died, we probably would have lost the game. 
But I managed to get one, and he, I don't know where he was. And, yeah, I died, but that was the end of the game. That was extremely close. That game was one point off. So, uh, yeah, that was amazing. I can't believe we won that, especially with me on their team. But as I say again, these are specifically chosen matches where I actually did well, just to show you little points, um, just things asking that I can improve on, especially like that gang up on the people. So here I resurrected him, and then I died. That was fun. Uh, on this part, so we're back. It's a different match, but we're back on the same um, map as uh, last time. But here, uh, I walked into the game halfway through, and there's a lot of gunfire coming along here. And so I thought I'd just hide behind here and try and have a go at these guys. So I got a few, which is uh, good. But yeah, guys, this is rip. That's pretty much it. I uh, got a few more guys with Scar H again. Long range weapon. I'm I'm working up to unlocking the AK. No, the um, Ace 24, Ace 25, which is a very good um, close-up weapon, but I have to do a challenge for that. But, honestly, yeah, if you have any more tips, again, uh, so this episode, Battlefield 4, I'm going to try another game for the next episode. Um, just leave a like, subscribe, share it, and I'll see you guys next time. Skizzoo out. Bye.